welcome to CXR Cloud Training Videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and manage tills. But before we continue, you need to have already created branches. If you don't know how to do this, check out the training video, How to Add a Branch for Admins. Your users need to be assigned to tills so they can sign into them in order to process any transactions. To add a till, head over to Teller from your toolbar and click on tills. Hit the plus sign over here to create a new till and enter in a till ID. This is to identify your till. For instance, let's do TT10. And then you're going to go ahead and enter in a till name. And then select a branch. Now be sure to check off auto create cash account for this till. So the system associates all the cash accounts you have with this particular till. Check off auto create cash accounts. If this till is going to be a shared till between everybody, you're going to check off shared till. If it's a till with limited access for admins only, check off this box here. We're going to leave both those blank for now. Click save. And now select the tilly that you've just created. And this step is really important. You want to click Create Cash Accounts over here to make sure that the previous step actually gets implemented. And I'll show you here what this is done by pulling up your accounts grid. Go to Modules from your toolbar and click on Accounts. Now I've just gone ahead and skipped over to the fourth page and scrolled down. And there it is. Now you can see every currency we have has the till you've just created associated with it. By noting the till number TT10, you've just added next to each currency. Now head back into the tills, teller, tills. And you can view who's logged into each till here and who can access each till as well the type of till it is, the branch, the till ID, all below. The time that they've signed in and the user that signed in just over here. You can create as many cash registers or tills as you need. If you only have one cash register but need multiple users to be able to use it, you'll need to make that till a shared till. First you're going to want to make sure that nobody is signed into that till. So nobody's signed in right now, we've just created this till. You can hit the edit tool and then just check off share till. Hit save and now this will be a shared till as well. And with a shared till, everyone will be automatically signed into it unless they sign out. You can also reserve tills just for admin use. Let's go back here and edit. And remove shared till and click admin use only. Click save. And now this till is only for administrators. No one else will be able to sign into this till unless they're an administrator. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next training video.